Parents fuming over a bad school bus driver. She is accused of taunting and scaring children, and parents say the district's response to their complaints is simply outrageous. 7 Action News reporter Brian Pomerini live in Lake Orion tonight with their concerns. Well, Stephen and Carolyn, the bus driver leaves this station daily, dropping kids off on their way home from school. And parents I talked with tonight say the driver is now on a different route because of their concerns, but they say she's still with the district. Parents say bus 28 leaving Paint Creek Elementary School is the bus in question. About half a dozen parents came by to speak to Action News about the problem. Multiple complaints of, um, of aggression from the bus driver, um, fingers in the face, vulgar words, um, aggressive stops that make children fall out of their seats. Rosanna Shepard has a nine and a 10 year old on that route. Another rider, seven year old Ty Alston came forward to share his experiences. I think that I'm pretty scared of her because she's saying that she's going to drop us off in the middle of the road. Parents tell me they've made calls and sent emails. They're also concerned about an incident where they say the bus driver let kids out into the custody of strangers. Rosanna Shepard said she decided to speak to the bus driver directly, and when she did, that driver shut the door on her and the police were called. She just continued to be very aggressive, very vulgar, saying we have horrible children, that it's our children's fault. The police did arrive. No one was ticketed, but the district took action. The driver is no longer on the route for these families. From what I'm hearing is that she is just transferred to a different route. So she is still going to be with children. She is still at our children's school, but she is not on our bus route anymore. Shepard and other parents say that's not enough. They want answers about what happened while she was driving their kids, and they think she needs a new job. She should not have this job. She should be fired. I did send a couple of emails to the district and left some voice messages. Of course, it is after hours, but the district did not yet respond with a comment. Live in Lake Orion, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, Brianne, we'll see if they have anything to say about it tomorrow. Thank you for the report tonight.